Hey guys, Lay Boy Scout here. Always a fan of multi tools, as you well know by now. And I'd like to introduce you to one that I think is pretty cool that I'm also reviewing on behalf of Gear Buyer's Guide slash gun websites. Some friends of mine who are working on a very cool project, which I've talked about before, uh, to benefit Wounded Warriors Project. This is the Credit Card Companion by Tool Logic. Um, a very interesting and quite useful device. And also really, really affordable at only about uh, 13 bucks. Make sure if I got that right. Yeah, about 14 bucks on Amazon.com. Probably less if you shop around. Wow, man, that's cool. It's very cool. They call it the credit card companion because it's obviously the size of a credit card. And if you have any question about that, let's just roll in something that's not a credit card. This is actually my first aid certification card. But it's the exact same size as a credit card. Trust me on that. And yes, as you can see, it completely covers it up. They cover up each other. So they are the exact same size. What about width? Okay, well, it's not the same width as a credit card. No, it's not. It's probably the same width of, oh, five or six credit cards stacked. Uh, maybe more. Okay, yeah, but you're going to have some width in order to have some capabilities. It's just, you know, it's just the case. You're just going to. For instance, a compass, which is not behaving if I have it set down that way. But, yeah, that's pointing about north right now. Mm, yeah, it's about north. Okay, that's cool. It's got a little compass built into it. Alien, that thin of a design, you're able to squeeze a compass? Well, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. And, of course, a little magnifying glass. How's the magnifying glass work? Well, it uh, appears to be working pretty well. CPR, AED, so forth, and first aid. That's what I learned here. Okay, cool. All right, that works. How about the knife? Look at that. Ooh, shiny. Mostly serrated. I'm not going to say partly serrated because it's just mostly serrated. But honestly, for a last-ditch knife, one that you uh, only might use, yeah, I think that's a great idea to have a, um, a mostly serrated knife. And how would you hold this thing? This is how I've been holding it, like so. Kind of one finger in and get it on top of the next finger and thumb behind. And that works quite well. It's not the most comfortable thing. I'm not going to feel comfortable cutting with this all day long, but for just one or one or two small cutting tasks at a time, yeah, I think that's going to work quite well and uh, not fatigue my fingers in any way. And also, I have tested this blade. It's quite sharp. It does, in fact, uh, do the paper cut test um, flawlessly and very, very well. And that, uh, yeah, those serrations are not uh, overdone and yet uh, effective, I think. So, nice little blade. I like the fact that it's all polished and chrome looking. <laughs> it's kind of cool. Yeah, it's kind of like a little shark. It's cool, man. What else we got in here? Something else very sharp. This is for, uh, it's kind of a multi-use tool right here. Bottle opener, can opener, and also a small awl. And let's see how that compares to the uh, bottle opener on the Leatherman Squirt, just for fun. Let's compare the two. Where are you? There you are. Because I know this one fails a lot, doesn't do very well. So if this if this one is only as deep as that one, let's see. Let's see if I can compare them. No, this is quite deeper. Quite deeper as a bottle opener. So that's going to open bottles considerably better, in my opinion. This one it doesn't do a very good job. I think that'll do quite better. Okay, cool. And like I said, it's an awl or a little punch, a very very sharp tip right there. And I can see that punching through leather and pretty much whatever other material you need it to punch through. Also, this is a small, short, flathead screwdriver. Let's compare those two. Okay, this one's got more reach, of course. But um, if you just need to get close up on something, obviously you can get a pretty good amount of torque because you've got this whole surface right here to turn with all these fingers. So I imagine you can get some pretty good torque on that and turn some flathead screws uh, quite easily as long as you're very, very close to them and you don't need to reach any distance to uh, to get to your item. There's no obstacles in your way. This will work just fine. What else has this got? You've got a toothpick on here that is extremely sharp and I imagine will pick your teeth just fine. You've also got, you know, that's a pretty cool feature because everybody loves that on their Swiss Army knife, right? And you've also got, what else? Oh yeah, tweezers. Another famous Swiss Army knife inclusion. Tweezers, quite useful. 
Now these are kind of a nylon material, it feels like. So is it going to be as effective as metal? Oh, I don't know. I imagine you can get a splinter out with that. I really believe you can. Um, yeah, I think those will work. And let's see if I can get them in correctly. A little tricky there. Oh, there we are. Yep. Good. Oh yeah, there's only really one way to put them in, as you can see. These kind of uh, have a little arrow kind of facing out that way and another arrow kind of facing out that way. So you can't really get it in backwards or upside down or whatever. It just won't go. You can stick this on your key ring if you want to or attach a little lanyard if you really, really want to. Um, you've got centimeters ruler right here and you've got uh, inches ruler right here. About all the cool little functions you need in uh, most little multi-tools and the size of something that you can squeeze into your wallet. Yeah. And you know, you're saying, oh no, you can't squeeze that in your wallet because that's the size of three or four or five or six credit cards stacked on top of each other. Oh really? Then how come I carried it around in this wallet for about a week and a half? Yes, I did. And it didn't bother me. Not at all. It did just fine. Didn't feel too heavy, didn't feel too bulky. How heavy is it? About 1.3 ounces in your back pocket. You're not going to notice it. Not if it's in your wallet. No, you won't. Tool Logic Credit Card Companion. If you're interested in multi tools, if you dig them in general, you like to collect the things, if you're looking for something kind of unobtrusive and not scary that uh, will be very useful to you in a lot of different ways, yeah, check this out. For only 14 bucks, yeah, cool. Not bad. I'm a late Boy Scout, guys, doing a quick little gear review for you little multi-tool review. We'll see y'all later.